Hello, I'm Sam, and in today's video we're going to be going over Mail inside of DoesQA. This exciting new feature allows you to utilize all of our nodes within the context of an email. You get two different types of inboxes, and in this video we're going to be going through how to utilize both of those. Heading into the app, we have a new option on the left hand side, Mail. Clicking on this will open the account mailbox in the UI. As mentioned briefly, there are two different types of mailboxes. We've got the account mailbox, which is shared across all the test cases and can be viewed like this. And we also have test case inboxes, which are unique, persistent and secure inboxes per test case generated on demand. A good use case for the account mailbox would be for proof of concepts or trialing to see what the emails look like when you receive them. Whereas for example, a user sign up would need a unique email address every time it's run, the test case email is the best one. These are default values passed to the runner and you don't need to set these yourself. There's a link in the description to a page on our website which explains all of the default values passed to our runners and example values that they'll get. Test email and account email is two of those. One exciting part about this functionality is that if you had an existing coded pack like Playwright, Selenium or Cypress, you would actually be able to automate this inbox also. All the metadata you see along the top here with timestamp from to reply to and the ID, these are the actual IDs. Let's take a look at using these new nodes and this new functionality inside of a test case. Here I have a very simple flow. What is going through is a registration on an e-commerce website where you get the dreaded please check your inbox message, finding the email, clicking the link and verifying the account. Now normally in a test automation framework, this would be the point you stop because you're not able to access an email address or you bypass it by directly injecting the token or marking the user as approved in the database. But now with DoesQA, you're able to follow the actual user journeys that the users would take. On the left hand side in our nodes, there is a new group called Mail. In here, we have five new nodes. Let's go through those now. Open Inbox opens one of the two different inboxes. Like mentioned before, we have the test case inbox and we have the account inbox. Selecting an email is opening the inbox and finding an email under a certain criteria. The criteria can either be the latest, previous, index, or the custom one, for example, where a subject would contain verify. Open email is extremely similar to select email, but this time it opens the email in a new tab and switches the browser context to it. It has the same configuration options as select email. Wait for email has either wait for any new email to come in within a one minute period, or we can custom wait again using the same selection criteria as the other two nodes. And once you're done in the email context, using close inbox will close the inbox and any open emails at the same time and return the browser context back to the main window. As we can see on this flow here, we're using a wait for new email, opening the test case mailbox, opening an email, clicking a link within the email, and then going back and making sure that the account is verified. Once the test case is completed, you'll be able to see a new mail icon on the results view. You can also see the same mail icon on any steps that use the mail nodes. This links directly to the test case mailbox, so you can actually see the actual emails that were present within the test case. As we can see here, this is the registration account email with the confirm your account button or the contact us button. From the flow, we saw that what we're trying to do here is click the confirm your account to confirm the account. Heading back into the test case, we can see by the video that it went through the registration steps, fast forward to make it a little bit quicker, through the registration tests, got the dreaded one step away, please confirm your email, headed into the test case mailbox, found the email, opened the email, clicked on the confirm your account link, which then sent us back to the Econ website where it confirmed the registration and we're all good to go. 
As mentioned earlier in the video, you are able to use the entire suite of our functional nodes within email. So an example might be making sure that the email address within the email is correct. So I signed up with the test case email, I could then verify that the test case email is also present within the body. Let's do that now by upgrading this test case just a little bit. First we'll make some room. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check the text. So at this point, the email is already open and we're within that context, which means you're able to utilize all of our nodes inside of that context. So you might want to do some visual regression on the email. You might want to do some accessibility testing, but you can also pass all of the values from the value store into that context too, which allows you to do things like adding a product to the bag, storing the price, size, color, and title of the product and verifying that all the way through, including on the emails. For now, we're just going to check that our test email, which is again, like I mentioned, already passed to the runner and preset, is present in the email. I've also added a link to the different video which shows how to use our values and storage inside of DoesQA. Here we have a test email value which we're using to verify. For now, let's actually drop a Pally node into here, into here to check for WCAG conformance in this email. We're just going to check for A. There we go, let's hit play and see the results. Awesome, now that test case is completed, we're able to see we've got two mailboxes here. These are both different for each test case. Opening up the nodes, we can see that the wait for new email, how one new email was received, confirm your client's account, open the inbox and then found the email with the subject that says confirm your clerk's account here. It checked the text inside the email using this selector and then also ran conformance against the email as well. Whilst I could talk for hours about all the different permutations of test cases you can create using these new nodes, I'm excited to see what you come up with. Don't tell my boss, but I've actually added a 95% off discount code to the description of this video. Join thousands of other testers increasing their confidence today with DoesQA. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.